I expect Malik Neighbors to have a big time rookie season for the New York Giants. I love this guy's demeanor. He's all business, no friends. There are Giants fans that are a little concerned at times about him because they feel like he does want to be a New York Giant, but he's not one of those guys that you always want to see charting around with a smile on his face. Like, he's just all business. And one thing about Malik Neighbors is that he's a force to be reckoned with after the catch. He's going to be running a lot of guys over because there are a lot of defensive backs that don't like the tackle in today's NFL. And they're going to be in for a rude awakening when they see big, aggressive Malik Neighbors running at them. What I love about Malik Neighbors the most is that this dude just has so much suddenness, so much explosiveness when he comes off the line. It's ridiculous. And I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up establishing himself as a top 10 wide receiver this year. He is going to be my wide receiver one in all of my fantasy leagues this year. And I don't care if he has Daniel Jones throwing him the football. You see, when you're as bad as what Daniel Jones is, there's no reason why you shouldn't be targeting a guy like Malik Neighbors every single play. Malik Neighbors is going to make Daniel Jones look like a better quarterback than what he actually is. This is going to be one of the rare occurrences where you see a wide receiver be good enough to elevate poor quarterback play. That's what Malik Neighbors is good enough to do. And, you know, initially when the drive process came around back in January and people were saying that Malik Neighbors was just as good or better than Marvin Harrison Jr. I thought they were tripping, but when I got into this dude's film and I watched him play at LSU, this dude is a freaking monster. I love him to have a better rookie season than Marvin Harrison, bro, because he's just so explosive. You can use him on wide receiver sweeps, maybe even let him run a little bit of wildcat. Like the New York Giants are not going to be a good team this year, but at least Malik Neighbors could be the main reason why you turn on Giants games if you are a fan of the New York Giants. Malik Neighbors is going to be the best player on the Giants offense this year. If I have to give you guys a projection for how I think his stats are going to look this season, I think he's probably going to have 110 receptions, 150 targets. He's probably going to have like 1,100, 1,200 receiving yards and probably 12 to 13 touchdowns because, listen, this pretty much should be the New York Giants' entire offense, running it through Malik Neighbors. And then you also do have Wondell Robinson. I think he can be pretty good for the Giants this season. Like Daniel Jones, he may be arguably the worst quarterback in the league, but it's hard for him to play as bad as what he did last year when you're throwing to a stud like Malik Neighbors. Like this guy is already my favorite wide receiver in the league. I love his personality. He's all business no friends. You know, when he steps on that football field, he's violent. He's like a running back when he gets the football in his hands after the catch. And as I said earlier, if you're a cornerback and you see Malik Neighbors coming at you, there are a lot of guys who are not going to want to tackle this dude. And I promise you, there's going to be some DBs that make a lot of business decisions when it comes to getting Malik Neighbors down. They're probably going to take the ease way out, try to go for his ankles. You don't want to see this dude head up because he's going to embarrass you. He's like a mixture of DJ Moore and AJ Brown put together. You know, he has the explosiveness that DJ Moore has after the catch, being so physical, being able to just run through guys, but also he has the ability to win those 50-50 balls downfield. This is a wide receiver that can do every single thing that the New York Jets want him to do. So I, I'm expecting this dude to submit himself as one of the best wide receivers in the game in year one. You look at how good Puka Nakua was for the Rams last year. I think that Malik Neighbors could have a similar season to what he had, just maybe not 1,400 yards because, you know, playing with Daniel Jones is going to somewhat hinder your stats just a tad bit. Okay, I don't think you're going to be an all-pro with a guy like Daniel Jones throwing you the football, but Malik Neighbors... He came out and initially made a bet with Jaden Daniels for winning Offensive Rookie of the Year, but they ended up having to just get rid of it because of the NFL's gambling policy. But I, I really felt like he could win that thing, truthfully. Outside of Caleb Williams and maybe Bo Nix, like I think Malik Neighbors, if I had to choose a non-quarterback rookie to win Offensive Rookie of the Year, I'd pick Malik Neighbors. Like I love this dude. This dude is going to be an absolute stud for the New York Giants this year. He's a pretty good route runner, explosive 
great after the catch. Like, you do not want to see Malik Neighbors 101 if you're a cornerback, bro, because I promise you this dude is going to embarrass a lot of corners who hate the tackle. He's going to be a handful this year. So if you're a Giants fan, you're not going to be good this year. But if you need a reason to tune into the games, Malik Neighbors is that reason.